This story begins centered around a timid, yet affluent young woman named Peggy. Peggy, a plain Jane by society's standards, has taken Charles, a strikingly handsome man, as her husband. However, her decision does not sit well with her disapproving Aunt Edith, who harbors suspicions of Charles seeking Peggy's family fortune rather than her heart. Tensions escalate as accusations fly, with Charles boldly condemning Edith for her perceived exploitation of Peggy. The newlyweds venture forth into the night, a relentless rainstorm beating down upon their windshield. Charles's demeanor has changed since the wedding ceremony. He displays callous and aggressive behavior towards his new wife. With nature conspiring against them, they come across a fallen tree trunk obstructing their path. Peggy's search for a flashlight in the car's glove compartment yields an unexpected and unsettling discovery, a handgun. Charles nonchalantly labels it a wedding present from Aunt Edith. Charles angrily steps outside to move the fallen tree, but is unable to move the obstruction. He sees a mansion in the backdrop of the storm's shadow. He returns to the car in frustration only to see that the car keys are no longer in the ignition. Thinking he may have taken them and dropped them while trying to clear the road, the couple is left with no recourse but to seek refuge in the nearby mansion, its decrepit facade imposing a sense of foreboding. Unanswered calls reverberate into the night, but Peggy finds a hidden key that grants them entry. Together, the couple steps into the dimly lit manor, a peculiar juxtaposition of decadence and decay. On the wall, a large battle axe remains framed, an artifact of an unknown past, lending an unsettling aura to their surroundings. Peggy's curiosity is piqued by the sight of a freshly prepared fireplace, prompting Charles to set a fire ablaze. Charles sheds his wet clothes, resting naked on a nearby couch. In the flickering candlelight, Peggy's confession of saving herself for the wedding night reveals the depth of her desire for the perfect first time. The couple embarks on the pursuit of an idealized romantic encounter, a quest that leads them to a room with an eerily pristine bed, adorned with candles. As Charles lights the room, Peggy dons seductive lingerie. Charles, who initially motivated by greed, finds himself genuinely enamored by her. Their ardor unfolds with a crescendo of passion echoing through the mansion's silence as the midnight hour approaches. Exhausted and sated, the couple settles into a midnight embrace. Peggy's fervent desire for a perfect night takes root as she envisions the conception of their child. However, the veil of passion slowly unravels as Charles awakens to the sound of a car's approach. Looking out the window, his world crumbles, Peggy is leading another man into the mansion, a stranger who receives the same intimate welcome she once bestowed upon Charles. The cruel spectacle shatters Charles's world, leaving him in agonizing disbelief. As the sinister tableau unfolds, Peggy's words echo those she spoke to Charles earlier. But in a horrible twist, Peggy grabs hold of the fireplace axe and a specter of a bloody murder commences. Charles tries to intervene but comes to the realization that the characters are but a spectral form and is helpless to intervene. Charles begins to understand the truth that they are the spirits of Peggy's parents conceived during a gruesome act of violence on their wedding night. Charles emerges from his spectral reverie retelling his nightmare to Peggy. Peggy, who reveals the shocking twist that his dream is what transpired in this very house. Peggy then reveals her malevolent intentions, intent to reenact a gruesome tragedy. The woman he thought he knew has given herself to a sinister compulsion, driven by the desire for an eternal perfect love. Charles's futile attempts to dissuade her crumble beneath Peggy's conviction. With a chilling revelation, he discloses the depths of his deception and feigned love. But Peggy, convinced of their genuine love during their night of passion, ends his existence with ruthless precision. With the morning light's embrace, Peggy's aunt arrives to collect her. As they contemplate the future, they speak of an unborn daughter who may one day follow in Peggy's sinister footsteps. Peggy pledges to renounce the allure of men. Yet, the shadows of the past still loom, and Aunt Edith's words remind her that, eventually, her daughter will also seek the embrace of a man leading to a cycle of perpetual history repeating itself as a dark family tradition. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.